this video, I'll be sharing 20 useful run commands that will help you access many useful tools on Windows. I recommend that every Windows user know about these run commands to help you achieve things faster and more efficient. Let's dive in. I left a list of all the commands in the comment section. To access the run commands, you have two easy methods. You can either right click on the Windows icon and click on run, or you can use the shortcut keys, which is the window key and the R key on your keyboard. Once the run command is up, the first command is task MGR. Type this command and press OK or hit enter. This should launch the task manager. Here you can monitor and manage running processes, performance, memory usage, and startup programs. Task Manager is handy for troubleshooting and optimizing system performance. Next is msconfig. Type this command and click OK. This is one of the mostly used commands. It opens system configuration where you can manage apps startup option, set boot settings, system services. Also from here, you can launch different other run command tools such as Task Manager, Registry Editor. Next is disk mgmt.msc. This brings up the disk management where you can manage disk partitions and perform various disk related tasks, such as expanding or shrinking your drives. Next is mstsc. This opens remote desktop connection which allows you to connect to a remote computer over a network or internet. It's useful for remote access and support purposes, especially in the business or IT environment. Next is powercfg.cpl. This command opens the power options, which allows you to manage power plans and settings for your computer. Next is MS Info 32. This brings up the system information, which provides details about your operating system, hardware, and software configuration. Here, for example, I can see the total RAM installed on my computer, the type of processor, and the version of my Windows operating system. Next is NCPA. Dot CPL. This command opens network connections where you can manage network adapters, Wi Fi connections, and troubleshoot network issues. It's really useful to come here when you are trying to resolve a connection issue. Next is appwiz.cpl. This command opens programs and features where you can uninstall or modify installed programs. And you can also manage other Windows features such as enabling virtualization. Next is timedate.cpl. This opens date and time settings, allowing you to adjust date, time, and time zone and other related settings such as adding additional clocks or updating your computer time. Next is devmgmt. MSC. This command opens device manager where you can view and manage hardware devices installed on your computer. You can update drivers, disable or enable devices and troubleshoot hardware issues. Next is Winver. This command displays information about your Windows version and build number. This might be useful for quick info about your Windows build update. Next is clean MGR. This command brings up the disk cleanup utility, which allows you to delete temporary files and free up space on your hard drive. Here, for example, I can select the C drive and click OK, and it would clean the drive. This might be a good command to run when you are running out of space. Next is control user passwords 2. This command brings up the user account box 
From here, you can manage user accounts such as add a new user, reset passwords, account types, and under the advanced tab, you can manage users groups. Next is char map. This command brings up the character map where you can find various characters for use in your documents, notepads, or websites. Here, for example, I can select this one, hit select, then hit copy, and now it's saved to my clipboard and I can paste it anywhere I like. Next is choice. This command brings up a black window, which is useful for scripting or creating prompt for user choices. For example, users can create a simple interactive script by presenting prompts and asking the users to choose from a list of predefined options. Next is ctTune. This command launches the clear type text tuner, which makes on-screen text easier to read by adjusting display settings. You can click next and follow the wizard to tune text to your preference. Next is dxdiag. This command opens the DirectX diagnostic tool. It provides details information about your system's DirectX settings. Next is change pk. Enter this command, then give your permission by clicking yes. This will bring a system activation box where you can check your Windows status, Windows version, and be able to change your product key if you like. Next is PSR. This command launches a problem steps recorder. This tool is for recording and troubleshooting steps performed on your computer. For example, if I'm trying to help someone do something and I want to share the steps I performed with him, I can use this tool. Let's click on record and let's go to search box on the taskbar and type notepad. Once the notepad launches, let's type test and save as test on the desktop and let's review the recording you can see it even took screenshots for all the steps i performed and these steps could be useful to share with someone to show how to perform a task last but not least is reg edit this command opens the registry editor and from here you could explore all the type of registry values that are available. And those were the 20 most useful run tool commands that you ought to know if you want to enhance your understanding of Windows. Until next time, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.